What's going on guys? This is some helmet cam footage from the second round of the Torn series and we're about to get off to the start and we're off. I uh, I got a good jump but I, I kind of got pushed wide and then right here I make a pretty rookie mistake by trying to go outside. I don't know what I was doing there. Basically give up two spots in that turn and then yeah. This track, the, the first well, really the whole track was really dusty, but the first two miles or so were just incredibly dusty, and that uh, that really doesn't favor getting a bad start. Here, you can't tell, but my leg came off the foot bag and I almost did a Superman, so good job on that. But yeah, as you can see, it's already getting uh, pretty dusty, and um, the guy in front of me, I didn't know who it was at the time. It ended up being Alex Nagy, who rode for... Uh, Mun racing in Supercross, I guess last year. But uh, anyway, yeah, I, I got off to a decent start, and then I threw it away. Second turn, there I just took a really, really stupid line. But nothing new, nothing new. Um, this section is where Casey Compton got hurt on Saturday. Actually, I was sweeping on Saturday and when he went down and uh, I s sat there and waited for a long time waiting riders to slow down because he was down in a pretty bad spot and uh, turns out he fractured his humerus by his elbow so uh, get well soon Casey but yeah you can see right here this is just incredibly dusty and I'm riding pretty terribly at this point I I, I get arm pumped so fast I'm it's I guess I'm just nervous I, I don't really feel like I'm nervous, but this mud jump right here was sketchy. I did it every lap, so I was happy with that, but it, it was just every time I was like so scared that I was going to swap out landing, so this track was brutal. I mean, it was, uh, it was really brutal. I'm not going to talk for this whole time, I don't think, because this is a 13 minute long video, so I'm probably just going to talk for the first little while and then, uh, I might jump in here and there later, but yeah, this track was gnarly. It uh, it's naturally rough; like it doesn't have to be ridden on to get rough. It actually kind of smooths out as you ride it. Well, I shouldn't I shouldn't say that. It did get a lot rougher, but yeah, that drop off is pretty cool. This part of the track was fun. Screwed that up. I'm taking some terrible lines right now. This section right here, I think it's possible to double right here and step down, but I never went for it. There I stalled it and got it to bump star, but Cameron Ishmael's already got the line on me, so I had to give that up pretty, pretty uh, easily. And then right here, I just, this section was so sketchy, and uh, I couldn't see where I was going, so I slowed way down. I think I just said I can't see. <laughs> This, this part was kind of gnarly. You, had to, you can't really tell, but you had to wheelie over this hole that had a big kicker on the other side. This is later in the first lap. I'm about to get blocked past, which, fair enough. I shouldn't have left the door open. That was a stupid move. But, uh, I get, uh, I get back by him here in a little bit. You'll see. Spoilers. <laughs> I don't think I have to say spoilers when the results are posted, but, you know.
I was uh, I was happy with the way I was riding in the rocks. I think I was making up time in the rocks compared to other some other guys. And here's where I get this guy back. That section that I just went through got progressively more uh, rutted out and just uh, hard to hit those bridges that were down in the creek. It was, there was a big hole going into the bridges and I think I broke my mud flap off because of that because my, my mud flap on, on my 450 is gone. So. This is the end of the first lap. And I just stalled it. Which is weird because that's really not a place where you can stall it. I mean, it is obviously because I just did it, but <laughs> that's not where you would typically think you would stall a bike. And you're going to kind of see that as a reoccurring theme in this video. So there, I finished the first lap. Jumping over those ruts was way faster and it was pretty technical because you, if you didn't jump far enough, you kind of landed in, in a rut, so you had to be careful with that. This straightaway was just a ball buster. And there I stalled it again, but luckily I was going downhill, so it, it bump started for me. I felt like such a goon through this section every time. I really like this section though. This section was fun. You'd going up and down these hills and it kind of gave you a chance to breathe a little bit. The downhills take it out of you, but the, I don't know, it was just up here on top of these hills wasn't rough. So it was like the only part of the track that wasn't just destroying your arms and legs. Mike Jolly taking photos there. Get some pretty good shots. And here is that same downhill section where this this part I think you can double. But like I said, I didn't go for it. And I've stalled it again. Again, in a place where it really doesn't make too much sense to stall it. I mean, it was downhill and not really that slow, so... Come on! I talked to a Big Dan about stalling it, and it seems like uh, it might be a bike setup issue more than anything else, so... I'm gonna try to get that sorted out. Finally got it started, and I am cussing up a storm. <laughs> That's why I've got the sensor boops in there. Yeah, I was pretty angry obviously I think that was a lap later that was like the third lap now now we're on to the I guess this is is this the same lap I think this might be the lap after that that'd be like the fourth lap see I that I hit that and it was so hard and then I went into that rut and then Stalled it again. Now that that is a place where I can see stalling it is a common thing probably, but it's just so hard to get this bike to start. I'm not sure why. I have to pull that. You can't see it, but there's like a red. I don't know what it, if it's, it's not really a choke, but it does like the same thing. Um, you know, the bike's fuel injected, so there isn't, there isn't a choke, but it effectively does the same thing, raises the idle or whatever, so. And yeah, I'm pretty angry. <laughs> Still. That's Bubba Henry in front of me. He was uh, racing the open expert class and he passed me. But I end up passing him back here in a little bit. I was taking that outside line just because you can cut across those rocks and carry a lot more momentum. I was, I was pretty decent in this section, I felt like. Throughout the whole race. 
or above makes a little mistake and lets me back by. I give him a little yell. Thank you. It was fun riding with him. It was, uh, you know, we were, we were going about the same speed for a while. He ended up pulling off, but it was, uh, it was fun. This section was, <clears throat> this section was pretty, uh, taxing. Lots of little holes and stuff I was trying to jump over. Then this drop off right here. Getting by a lapped rider and then uh, going into this mud, mud bog again. Made it through clean that time. And uh, I think literally as soon as I got through that, I was like, "Thank God I didn't stall it there again." Yeah, I was just I was just thinking about how yeah, good thing I didn't stall it. And then right here, I stalled it. So good job. It just it wouldn't start unless I got it into neutral and then pulled the uh, the choke thing. I don't know what it's called. It's not. It's not a choke, but whatever. And Bubba stopped here to make sure I was going to get my bike started, so thanks for that, because I appreciate that. And another stall. Yeah, I was just, I was having a heck of a time with this bike. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what the problem is. I think the, I need to raise the idle, and I think there might be something with the uh, fuel injector or something, but... There's Bobby Garrison lapping me, making me feel like a total goon. So, yep. And it, it's funny, he looks like he's uh, pretty dang smooth. He doesn't look like he's really riding that fast. So. It's so frustrating to be behind someone that's so much faster than you, but you can't really tell why, you know? You're just watching them pull away, but you can't really see where they're making up time. It's just slowly pulling away. They're just faster everywhere. And now we're on the last lap. There's a new line through these trees. It was pretty good. This section was pretty awkward, but not too bad. The whole track was just, it was pretty gnarly for a torn track. Torn tracks aren't usually too technical, but this one was uh, right up there with uh, other tracks. Or other series, I guess I should say. But I usually like kind of the faster stuff. But there you go, that's the end of the race. My GoPro actually died like as soon as I got the checkered flags, that's pretty funny. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh peace.